Konnichiwa minasan! My name is Sam with Perfect Rares and in this video we're going to be opening the Evite Trainer Box. Get it? Elite? Eevee? Anywho. In this video I'm also going to be sharing my thoughts on whether you should keep it sealed or actually open it to have some fun. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. My name is Sam and here we open and cover all things Pokemon trading card game related from battles to opening packs and let's get into it. So here today I got my really cute Eevee mat. Featuring Eevee! Yay! Here we have the Elite Trainer Box, I'm about to say Evite again, uh, featuring a really cute and really brown box, or orange, however you want to look at it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip past all of this because I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of Elite Trainer Boxes. Comes with Energies, Integral Play in the game, comes with the really cute Eevee Sleeves. And there we have the really cute... Yay! And then we also got a code card for all you notification squads. So make sure you guys have the notification turned on. And damage stuff and more pack. Oh wait, I'm about to throw that pack. And the instruction booklet. So the fact of the matter is that Pokemon is really expensive. We're talking about ETBs over $100. It's really hard to find product. You know, you go to Target, Walmart, GameStop, and they're all just wiped. So most of you guys are probably even considering getting these at over a hundred dollars and you know you might be thinking to yourselves Rilla boom 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 Rilla boom Wow and a dreadnought uh, Whether this is actually still worth picking up at a hundred dollars But here's the reasoning behind that the overall value of this set We're talking about the Charizard. We're talking about the Skylas. We're talking about all the shinies in the set having a really high above average price range so if you take a huge bulk of packs and you open all of them, the overall average of this set is really, really high. Squeak's World actually covers this in this video. Yo, Galarian Zigzagoon, what is up? Um, I'm gonna leave a link down below if you can check it out. He has some really great content. Big shout outs to him for covering this. So Pokemon cards are a game of chance, right? These packs are meant to be $4 each. Yeah, they're being priced in at around, what, 10 to $14, which is, you know, double the MSRP. But why is that? It's because you have chase cards like Charizard, you have other chase cards like all the shinies, people are trying to collect their sets. In addition to the whole Logan Paul video, which I covered earlier, as to why the overall market is throttling up. And I mentioned this, that all the prices are continually going to be going up, which has been slowly, steadily. I think right now it's kind of topping off a little bit. But nonetheless, you know, the overall market right now, as even some people said in our Discord, is you know finding Pokemon at MSRP is a myth, which is kind of true to an extent. But with that being said, I think when it comes to opening Shiny Fates right now, even at $100, it's still actually kind of worth it. You know, If you want to hold it sealed, there's actually more of a risk to it, only because if you're holding, I mean, what are you holding for, at least in the short term? You have three more waves of Shiny Fates coming out in the next couple of months. Um, from what I've actually been informed, the next couple, the next wave is going to be coming out in March. It's not going to be as big of a wave as the one that came out last week. So you may see prices kind of fluctuate down a little bit after that next wave. But nonetheless, you know, right now is actually a good time to open the packs. So you're not losing too, too much value on the cards themselves. So for example, a Charizard VMAX right now goes for about five to six hundred dollars at the time of this recording. However, last week, Charizard VMAX, the shiny one, actually went for about a little over nine hundred to a thousand dollars, which is insane! A creamy V! Yes, this is terribly cut, but it's okay. Still, a creamy V. I'm gonna get some ice cream after this. Because if you're holding this to invest, at least in the short term, I mean, you're not gonna be expecting any sort of price movement for the next couple of months. I mean, at that point, you know, it still might be worth it to pick it up later if you're just holding, but right now, I mean, why not have some fun with this set? This set is actually really amazing. Unfortunately, there's no Marnie in this set, which is what we're all looking for, Dreepy! And a more Peko to go along with it. So the right now, the overall rate to pull Charizard is about one in 271. Correct me if I'm wrong, Leave me let me know in the comments down below. But, you know, for example, if you open 200 packs of Shiny Fates, or 271 for that matter, you're almost guaranteed odds of pulling a Charizard VMAX at $400. So, 
So in perspective, if you're opening $500 at a $10 entry point on booster packs for Shining Fates, you know, you have essentially a 1 in 4 chance in breaking even on pulling a Charizard VMAX. However, if you, granted you do pull it, you know, everything else is essentially profit in that instance. But nonetheless, and we're down to our last pack. So if you're actually opening, let's say even upwards of $1,000 worth of Shining Fates, which equates to, I think, roughly around like 80 to 100 packs, you basically have a 1 in 3 chance of making your money back and equating out to whatever you pulled in terms of the big shinies. So, oh, and a Toxtricity VMAX. Wow, we got two big shinies in this ETV. So here is my case in point. Let's say, let's let's do a quick recap here. So to prove my point, let's go ahead and take a look at the overall value of this ETV that we just opened. So we opened a Toxtricity VMAX, a really boom VMAX, two small shinies as well as a Creamy V Morpeko, and a we have our promo card as well. So pricing and everything around the 25, so pricing these big shinies in at around the $20 to $25 range, as well as the small shinies between the $7 to $10 range, in inclusion of the Akrimi Mi, which will go for around $10 to $12 at the time of this recording, and the Mopeko V, which I imagine would be $2. It's not the most popular V, but it's still really cute. And the Promo V Max EV, which goes around $7 to $10. So taking the average price of everything here, this is roughly around $100. Which goes to show why this ETB is going for so much. Couple that with the demand for this overall set in general, it goes to show why people are paying insane amounts for this. Because you know you're not necessarily too, taking too much of a loss. The hits rates on the hit rates on this box is insane. But other than that, so at least that gives you an idea of why this set, overall set is being priced so high right now, and especially two times above the price of MSRP. But other than that, if you haven't yet, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and Hydro Pump that like button and i will see you guys tomorrow where we're going to be opening some boxes of cosmic clips and we'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone